Today we how to get a dog to shoot a basket. First, let BB do a demonstration. Usually we will use a tennis ball, because the size of the tennis ball will be more appropriate up. The result of this training is that the dog holds the ball. Then put it into the blue box to complete the training. This training we are divided into six steps to do. The first step is to let the dog like the ball. Of course we do not want him to be a fanatic about the ball state. Generally use the throw out, and then play as a reward. Then after returning, it is necessary to allow the dog to spit into the hand. Because the dog is more like a moving object, so after throwing it will go after it. At the very beginning of the training do not throw so far uh, just put in front of. Yes, tell him to bite or grip, on it. Throw it in front of the first a little bit closer, because so it is possible to get back to you. If thrown very far away, it is possible that the dog will take away, and then go to play on their own off. Then another will give him a food reward. We hope from our training point of view, he is more interested in food than the ball. He will only bring the ball back to you for food. If the interest in the ball is greater than the food, it is possible that the dog will take the ball away ah, and then the dog will go to play on their own ah. This is the first training, that he can go to the ball. Then the second training is the dog can spit the ball into the hand. We do a demonstration ah. Uh. Then hold out your hand. Then he can put the ball in his hand. Then give a reward, we can take the initiative to pick up his ball, as long as the ball to the hand to give the dog a reward. This may be a more difficult training ah, uh, so at the beginning can be simpler is, hand under the dog's mouth, a eh. ringing piece, it will spit out the ball. Later, as soon as the hand appears, he will spit the ball down. Must be placed on the hand to reward. At the beginning is placed under the dog's head, when the dog can spit the ball very well, we move the hand a little, he spit to the hand after the reward, if the spit to the ground do not give the reward. There must be a process of putting the ball in the hand off, this is very important. At the very beginning, you cannot move too far, right next to the head. The next part, we will start to need to take out the basketball board. We let the dog hold the ball, the dog holds the ball, and we put our hand under the basket. Because he has learned the process of putting the ball in his hand, so you just put your hand on the location where he needs to shoot, he will spit the ball into that. The same, also practice 10 times inside 8 times are successful after we will start to add the password. This password can be a random password, we can say shooting as a password. You don't have to throw the ball very far at first, because this saves the dog's energy a little closer. Say shooting. He would put his head in the basket and spit out the ball. The success rate of this training is high, and the password will be added in the future, and we will start to improve the height of the rebounds. Now, he has started to learn to stand up and put the ball in the basket. The height of the basket is also about 3 cm each time, which is a little bit higher, because the weather is relatively hot now, it's noon again, so you can choose to train in a cool time as much as possible. The dog's mood will be higher.
In this training process in fact, the most important thing is, the first one is to let the dog be interested in the ball, but its interest should not exceed the interest in the toy. Because we want to get a stable behavior, your reward. It is very important that he will spit it out to you if it is bigger than this ball. The second is to make him understand the concept of spitting the ball into his hands. So at the beginning, we can put our hands under his head to catch the ball. If the behavior training is already very proficient, we will move our hands a little bit. We call this the trial and error learning method, that is, if he throws the ball on the ground, he won't be rewarded. If you put the ball in your hand, you will get a reward, so that he can understand the concept of giving the ball to me or putting it in your hand. The third step, if we have this training foundation, then we can put the thing in the dog's mouth on any object you want it to put on, that is, put the hand under it or put it next to it. Because it will put the ball or the pen in the dangling, whatever it is in your hand, then you can. For example, put it in the basket, put it in the pencil box, put any item your dog takes first, and put it on top of the object you need. Actually, shooting a basket is just a concept. We can use grabbing, and then you can train a dog a lot by spitting on the concepts you learned. For example, picking up toys, throwing things into the trash can, these behaviors can all be done through this behavior. Train it out.